Hi and welcome to KSI Print. This is the place to be for the best tips and tricks in embroidery, vinyl, heat transfer, and screen printing. Let's get started. Hi, today we're going to learn how to troubleshoot issues with the SUMA cartridges and imperfections on our vinyl images. This job that I've just done, I've just cut off of this machine and we're ready to weed it and put it on our signs. However, when I noticed after I pulled it off, I have some imperfections on here and I'm going to show you these imperfections. So what I see is I see consistent white streaks. They're in several places on the sign. Um, typically when you're running a, a job like this, you want to make sure first of all that your cleaning pads are taken care of and the vinyl itself is clean. And sometimes you will get specks and you'll get imperfections throughout the vinyl. In this particular one though, I noticed that they're consistent, which tells me that it's probably not lint, it's probably something else. So what I'm seeing is these little streaks down here. It tends to be on every one of my E's and then I have it again on this side over here. So what I'm looking at right now is I'm thinking that this particular situation is most likely going to be something that has to do with my cartridge. So I've checked my vinyl, I'm troubleshooting each and everything. The first thing I've done is check the vinyl to make sure there's no issues with the vinyl. There wasn't any issues with the vinyl. So now I'm gonna to go to my cartridge. Now I've already pulled the cartridge out This is the red cartridge. This is what they call a spot red. And this is what the, the type of cartridge that I'm using on this particular job. Now, when I open the, the cartridge, let's see what we do here. The cartridges have little small slots on the sides of them. And I don't know if you can see those very well, but these little slots go down and hook into this cartridge. Now when I lift this up, the first thing that I'm starting to see on this is I do. I see a lot of, um, a lot of slack in here, first of all, and I also do see some creasing. So what I'm going to do is roll this back just a little bit to kind of view this a little bit more. And as I'm rolling this, I'm seeing that it's, in, that it's actually cons inconsistent in that it's going a little bit of an angle. So what's happening is, as it's trying to um, use this part to print with, and it's pulling up the slack, it's not pulling it up even. So it's causing it to crease. If you can see the tension, it actually almost, it's hard to tell here probably, but it will do a crease as it's turning. So. We've already contacted tech support and asked for assistance on this because this, this is a new machine for us and we're a little bit unfamiliar with what is going on here. So they have recommended to us to splice this ribbon. So this will be my first time splicing the ribbon, so we're going to try this and see how it works and, and share it with you. So what they're telling me to do is they're telling me to, to splice the take-up part and they're wanting me to actually remove all of this excess. So I'm going to splice it. Let's cut it nice and neat. And they're telling me to remove all of this excess. So this looks like quite a lot here, so I'm gonna to try to remove as much of it as I can. And if you'll notice, all of these images that you see on here, every bit of this is where the SUMA has printed on a previous design. Um, something that we're going to address in some future videos is how to maximize your print so you don't have as much waste on that. So this is kind of a lot of stuff here. 
So I'm going to cut off the excess. Now, this still doesn't look tight to me, so I'm going to go a little bit further with this. Um, according to tech support, they've told me to go ahead and to remove the entire thing. I'm not going to remove this whole thing, but we're going to go backwards a little ways with it and see what happens. Okay. Now, what they're wanting us to do is take this and splice the ribbon together with tape. So I'm going to take it and get it nice and neat and try to get it a little bit more even since that seems to be the issues with the the angle causing those creases. Tape. I'm going to turn it over so I can get a good Actually, this is not as easy as I thought it would be, but it's not, not too hard. Okay, so now I'm going to take up the slack. And re-roll it. And then once I've done that, we're going to put it back in the cartridge. And I have to remember which way these go. Nope, we've got them on backwards. Flip this thing over. <laughs> and you definitely don't want the, the chip to come out. When these chips are out, there is, it's definitely not going to read the chip. So let's get that thing back in there. take the chip and actually I think I'm gonna do it the other way around so it doesn't fall out on me again so we're gonna try this see if we can do this okay so that was a little easier I'm gonna roll it a little bit taut and it is a little tighter now, so let's hope this has fixed our problem. And I have to always remember to match these little places up here on these cartridges and just set this down in there. Slide those in. And then snap it down. And snap it down. So, now, this is my first attempt at this, and I have to say, um, I honestly don't know if it's going to work or not. So if you'll stay tuned for our next video, we're going to show you what the results are of this and see if that cleared up our problem.